STRONG REACTION TONIGHT FROM METRO COUNCIL MEMBERS FOLLOWING A NEWS CHANNEL 5 INVESTIGATION. Now, SOME MEMBERS WERE SHOCKED TO LEARN MANY OF NASHVILLE'S BIGGEST BUILDINGS ARE ESSENTIALLY OFF THE PROPERTY TAX ROLLS. INVESTIGATIVE REPORTER BEN HALL IS EXAMINING NASHVILLE'S USE OF TAX INCENTIVES IN BUILDING BOOMTOWN. BEN. WELL, THAT'S RIGHT. SOME COUNCIL MEMBERS QUESTION WHETHER METRO IS FOLLOWING STATE LAW. INCREDIBLY, THEY WEREN'T AWARE HOW METRO USED THESE TAX INCENTIVES. IT'S EMBARRASSING, REALLY. Councilman Josh Stite said he did not know the council reaffirmed downtown as blighted and unsafe, paving the way for the use of tax incentives called tax increment financing. As a member of the council, it's embarrassing to say that we are not vetting these things when they come before us. Stite said he was shocked to learn how many metro buildings are essentially off the property tax rolls because of tax increment financing. It allows developers to get loans using property tax money to build in blighted areas. But our investigation discovered even after those loans were paid off, Metro continues diverting most of the property taxes to MDHA, Metro's development agency. You know, I thank you for your efforts, uh, the story tonight, uh, educating me. Councilman at large, Charlie Tigert, reacted to the story on open line. It's almost like voodoo economics. You know, the money has to come from somewhere. So anytime you shift it from one pot of money to another pot of money, uh, you're denying some other location some improvement. In a later interview, Tigert said he was unaware Metro continued to send property tax money to MDHA even after the TIF loans were paid off. And I think most of us felt like uh, when these buildings get paid off and the, the TIF money ends, then all that money would flow to the general fund. There is a need to have a little more oversight. Attorney Betsy Knotts in the Comptroller's office reviewed documents we sent her, which revealed Tennessee's tallest building, the Batman Building, had its TIF loan paid off in 2002. And while it generates $1.7 million in property taxes, Almost all of it goes to MDHA for more development. Only $49,000 goes to Metro. That money from that building is not going back into the general fund. What do you think of that? That gives me pause. When the attorney for the comptroller's office says, this practice gives me pause, to me, you may as well have been standing in the middle of the road with a red flag waving. Something's wrong. Both Councilman Stites and Tiger said part of the reason for the confusion is that many issues are rushed before council members. The challenge for council members is that these, oftentimes, these deals are brought to us at the ninth hour. The administration is standing on one leg, got to have it now. The Comptroller's office is reviewing whether a new law that regulates TIF has been implemented properly. If you'd like to see our past reports on this, go to newschannel5.com.